been posting videos on YouTube for 9 months now and after gaining 2,400 subscribers, I can generally say that YouTube is gradually changing my life. In this video, I want to share with you my personal story, how I started YouTube without knowing how to edit a video. I will also talk about how I gradually gained subscribers while studying and working full time. And also the part that you want to know the most, I will talk about monetization and whether this channel is already monetized, so stick till the end to know the answer. I started YouTube while I was in university because I found it hard to concentrate and study well. I was having a hard time studying as every time I would take my phone and start scrolling and I would distract myself with everything that was surrounding me, so I had to find a way out of this and start being more productive. So one day I saw YouTubers posting study with me videos. In case you don't know what is that, study with me is a video format where people study or work for let's say two hours and they film themselves doing this. So in that moment I was like maybe this is what I need because you know once you film yourself you will just give up on all of your distractions because you know that later you need to upload the video and that people will see so you need to make yourself accountable. So I was like YouTube was my dream. I was already thinking about YouTube like since, I don't know, three years before this. But I had never started YouTube because I didn't know how to edit a video. I remember starting with this format and doing it for two months. After that, I gained 29 subscribers. Although I already deleted those videos, they were an important step that I had to take in order to learn how to use editing softwares that are a little bit complex like Premiere Pro. Doing study with me is you don't need to trim anything, you don't need to add photos, you don't need to add text, so it was, you know, pretty much easy, you just hit the record button and then you upload it to YouTube. After those two months, I finally finished my third year of university, so I was like, okay, now I'm on vacation and I could change my niche. I thought, why should I talk about learning languages? This is something that I am very passionate about and I've already learned Chinese, Spanish and English fluently. And I also consider the fact that learning languages might make you more money than study with me. By the way, I will arrive to the monetization part very soon, so don't worry, stay with me. So this is what I did. I started posting videos about language learning, about how I learned Chinese in eight months, about my experience living in China, in Shanghai, and suddenly, all of a sudden, one of my shirts blew up. In this video, I talk about Arabic, so it's nothing fancy, it's pretty much simple, but it got me 260,000 views and 1,600 or maybe even more subscribers. So for me, it was like mind-blowing. But of course, success doesn't happen overnight, so it took a little bit of time, probably four months, to start growing properly. So now it makes me 1000 views per day and it's already been probably I published it one year and a half before. Before moving on, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and to give to this video a big thumbs up. So as you can see, my new niche was going well and was going better than my previous one. Now, if there was a mistake that I made was quitting YouTube after three months that my new niche, language learning, was going well. Now you're probably asking yourself, why did you quit if you were starting having results? I quit it because I had to go back to China to finish my last year of university. So basically I was studying for a double degree, so I had to write two theses and I had to do my last internship. But then it happened that I graduated and I started working for a corporate company it's actually a Chinese company, but I'm not in China at the moment. I'm in Budapest. The company is Huawei. 
I've been working there for four months now and now I found the balance, you know, to make YouTube videos and at the same time to work. So it's beautiful now because I, you know, although like after work I can still relax and I want to relax because, you know, after nine hours working, what you want to do is just to relax, I can still find the time to write scripts, the time to make videos, so I started getting YouTube after more than one year not doing it. Now everything has changed. I don't want to treat YouTube like a hobby like it was before, I want to treat it like something that eventually in the future will become my business. So for example, I've started thinking about how many times should I publish and my answer for myself is twice a month. So every YouTuber, almost every YouTuber I think publishes once a week but for me is impossible post videos just for posting and saying okay i need to push a lot of content out there so that eventually someone will notice me no i want to focus myself on quality over quantity and this is because i believe that one good looking video is better than i don't know three videos that have zero quality and zero value Okay, now let's talk about the part that literally everyone was waiting for, and it is monetization. As you can already see, I've already reached the first milestone to get monetized, which is to get 1000 subscribers. And since I already have 2400 subscribers, yeah, I did it, I made it. But because I quitted YouTube for more than one year, I wasn't able to reach the second milestone that you need to reach for being monetized, which is 4000 watch hours. Because when it comes to monetization, YouTube will only count those hours accumulated in 365 days. So as you can imagine, those videos published two years ago were no longer counting. But of course, now they are still, you know, getting hours, getting traction and getting views. So I'm again accumulating <laughs> from the beginning watch hours to reach the milestone and getting monetized. Now you must watch this video and I'll see you there.